So if I give you some of these signs and symptoms and they really resonate with you, then it might be worth exploring doing a little bit of healing for yourself. The only way that we can fully heal these things is through our subconscious mind. We can't heal subconscious wounding from our conscious mind. I know a lot of people say that you can. I absolutely don't agree. I don't believe that if you've got subconscious belief systems playing out as a fairly constant kind of roadmap in your life that's showing up in terms of dysfunctional relationships, inability to get good jobs, um, inability to, to hold health in your body, if all of those things are happening or any of those things are happening and there is a trauma basis to it and there is a subconscious belief system playing out, I absolutely don't believe you can heal that through talking. Not fully. I think you can get to a place where it's manageable. I think you can get to a place where you can function much, much better. But a lot of the talk therapy even says this will never be gone. You'll only find a way to manage it. And in the world of energy and spiritual healing, I have to say we can 100% heal these things. This is 100% possible, but we must do it through the subconscious mind. So when you choose to go and get healing, bear in mind, talk therapy is fantastic, but clearing those subconscious energetic kind of belief systems in your body, in my opinion, is essential. So maybe try both try one or the other and see which works for you. But in my family, I have given my kids and my husband and myself, we've done all of the above. We've done talk stuff. We've done energy work. We've done spiritual healing and nothing, nothing compares to the energy and spiritual work. 